Hey, what's up guys? So this video is gonna be about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case because if you haven't heard, we, we all caught a W today. We all got a W today because Johnny won. Johnny won the court case and it's just, it's so big for us today, uh, especially like for dudes, you know, who are abused, but also just for everybody in general because I'm pretty sure like majority of the people in the world were defending Johnny, clearly. It's pretty obvious that Johnny was in the right for literally all of this even proven to be right i mean there was probably like instances shown that johnny has done drugs and stuff where he's uh guilty of sleeping strange in strange positions but on other than that he's done absolutely but fuck nothing wrong but um yeah i just kind of wanted to touch on it because like i don't really talk about shit like this i usually talk about youtube stuff but like this is such a big topic i know a lot of people would probably say i'm just doing this for views yeah you're you're right like yeah obviously yeah but um in general like it's a good thing right johnny won we should all be happy for that but i do want to touch on the fact that literally ha like twitter is the only place where this is going to happen right where there are people that are going to defend amber and even amber herself making a statement still doubling down on her situation which uh yeah it's pretty fucking sad but before i get into that i really just want to talk about like that how happy i am about johnny winning this case because it just makes me so happy knowing that we're progressing towards a time where we can actually see men winning cases like this because back then you would see a dude you know literally be called out for this stuff even though he's the one being abused right like the woman would totally get away with stuff like that and now it's like oh we're living in an age where people will actually listen to both sides and we literally look at the evidence from both ends and actually defend you know the the person who's in the right because again johnny's not a perfect saint he's not some incredible saint incredible human being he's just he's just johnny right like he's made mistakes in the past but he's not a disgusting abuser and even the people who like ex-girlfriends or ex-wives coming on to say like yeah he was never abusive to us it's just it's incredible because you know it just shows that there's people there to stand by him and and stand by other dudes as well who get abused in relationships because I, I never thought something like this would ever happen to be honest with you when i first saw this case i genuinely thought johnny was actually gonna just get fucking shit on like because that's kind of how it normally happens that's how it normally goes down but when you start to see it over time like grow as people defend johnny it's incredible it's awesome it's a good feeling as well and you know just fucking good good shit to johnny like he was literally about to lose his career everything was about to go down the drain he had he still did lose a lot but he definitely won the hearts of many with this cir circumstance and i really hope amber loses lots because of how fucking incredibly abusive she is like she even abused her last partner and yet people will still defend her in this circumstance it, it just doesn't really make much sense to me but let's get into the fucking twitter shit because i really want to talk about her statement on this so i'll read this out for you guys right here so the disappointment i feel today is beyond words i'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power influence and sway of my husband i'm even more disappointed with the, what this verdict means for other women it is a setback it sets back the clock at a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated it sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously. This is one thing that I hate listening to throughout multiple people on Twitter. It's people who think this is true. It just isn't true. This does not set back the clock for women. So now it scares them into telling the truth. Johnny was telling the truth. Clearly. You can clearly tell that. Like, right? Like, if anything, this court case proves that there's more people willing to listen to the truth to both sides than anything, right? It, it sets a great precedent for men, especially men in these circumstances because men are very overlooked when it comes to abuse cases and it also sets a precedent for women to step up because look there's lots of people who will listen to your side because look johnny if people listen to johnny and he's a man they'll listen to you and you're a woman like that that's such a bullshit lie because for years people have been listening to women way more than men and i know that sounds fucked up of me to say but like it's true more people have listened to women way more than they've listened to men in terms of abuse and sure you can argue that more women are abused by men than men abuse women but i feel like that's such an underlooked thing because people don't really listen to the man in a circumstance of, of abuse or men just don't talk about it because if they do they'll get shunned for it. it's such a bullshit statement by amber and it just pisses me off that she makes this statement but i'm gonna keep on reading i believe johnny's attorney succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key issue of freedom of speech and ignore evidence that was so conclusive that we won in the uk i'm sad i lost this case but i'm sadder still that i seem to have lost a right i thought i had as an american to speak freely and openly this is 
is the statement I don't fucking understand at all. When she talks about freedom of speech, I think she's talking about the fact that she can openly sit up on the at the court and just lie. Yeah, you can and you did. Does that mean you can get away with it? No, it doesn't. I, it doesn't. You didn't have your right taken away as an American, Amber. You literally abused your husband. What do you not get through your fucking head with that circumstance? You were able to freely speak at the court, but what he sued you for was defamation because you made his character look horrible, you made him look horrible, and you made him lose multiple roles in shows and in other positions that made him his money and his livelihood. You made him look horrible. You literally defamated him. Yeah, that's the point of the fucking case, Amber. You had the ability to have your freedom of speech. You just lost the case because you lied. And we they proved it multiple times that you lied. It, it blows my mind that she can think like this and actually just put statements like this out. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Just to go on and show you guys other pictures of what went down or other people. I don't want this video to just be super long and vegged out. Like I just kind of want it to be a nice short representation of Johnny winning and being happy for him. But this was a big one that people kept talking about was this girl just saying these quotes and comments, we won, yes, yes, yes. Y'all are the reason women don't come out to speak about the abuse they've experienced. This is exactly what I'm talking about with the last statement that Amber made. This is not true. Shit like this is not true. This is not the reason why women don't come out to speak about their abuse or their experiences. It's not because, oh, women, no one will believe, believe women. People will believe you. That's the whole purpose. People will believe women over men in terms of abuse every single time. And I want it to be to a point where we can listen to both sides and just go off of who's telling the truth and who has the better evidence, right? That's the whole fucking point. That's what people want to get to. And it's people like you who set us back this far to where we're still putting men down, making them feel like shit for trying to overcome an abuser. It's incredible, right? It's incredible that shit like this is happening. Because still, Johnny still lost a lot of shit. Johnny will basically won $30 million from this case and Amber still won $2 million. Not as much as Johnny, but she still won $2 million for parts of the case that they were able to kind of... Uh, John, Johnny wasn't able to prove, basically. Johnny, at the end of the day, everything showed that he wasn't an abuser, never abused her once, right? That's it. Hands down, that was it. And before I end this video off, I really just kind of want to talk about the lawyers. Johnny's lawyers, dude, props to those guys, man. They did an amazing job just making Amber look like an absolute fucking idiot. I mean, <laughs> Camelia, I think her name was or something. She was fucking crazy, dude. She was going off on Amber throughout that entire situation. And um, I forgot the other dude's name, but he did an incredible job just getting the information out as well. And Amber's lawyers, man, she hired so many fucking dumb fuck to just fuck up the case for her. I can't tell if these guys just hated her and didn't want her to win or something, but I mean, at the end of the day, they did a horrible job. And, th and the thing is, is I think they did a horrible job because Amber had nothing to prove, right? Like you saw with the makeup, the makeup company didn't even have that brand out and they even called her out on it too. The makeup company called her out on it. That's fucking sad. Like th that piece of makeup wasn't made in the year that that situation happened and shit like that or just, just all the evidence that they try to prove, even trying to get that one TMZ employee from telling him that he wants a 15 minutes of fame. Like, why would you say that in the middle of court? Then she gets absolutely fucking roasted by the guy while he just kind of disproves her the entire time. Like, it's just, it, it's ridiculous how whole piss poor her fucking team was. Like, right? Like, it was just, it, it wasn't put together very well at all. And I think it's really because Amber just had nothing, right? She had nothing. She couldn't do anything with what she had. And Johnny had so much. And again, props to those guys, man. I hope that they get a good payday after this. Like, they, they did an amazing job and they really resolved the situation. And they also helped to make a lot of memes in this situation and definitely helped them in their job. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.